All right, hey everyone. Here we are again with our buoyancy boat. And today what we're doing is removing the water from the boat while it's submerged. This involves modifying the water material itself, so just go ahead and select that. And if we scroll down to the bottom of details, we will find the water material. And let's just click Browse to Water Material Lake. And this takes us to the folder of the instances. But this right here is the water material itself. So because I don't want to modify engine content, I hit back. I'm going to copy and paste it. Um, but we need one more thing. Open up the material. And under this masking section, just double click on this function. And once again, browse to up here, and then minimize. Copy this function that it took us to. Hit back. So here we have both of those uh, material assets. Just rename it whatever you want. I'm just adding mask to the end of both of these. Okay, so let's open both of them up. So here we have the water material. And we just want to replace this with the one function that we copied. Which was water, opacity, and the one with mask at the end. That's the one we want to be using just to preserve the default stuff. And by holding control and click, I can just move these to their corresponding spots on the new node. So we're done with water material. Let's just save that. Double click on the function. And we just have to go down here. Just move that over for some space. You can drag out of this max. We're just going to add and fit that in right in between those two. And then drag out from B. Distance to nearest surface. And that concludes the modifications of the materials. So the boat won't have any noticeable differences, but if we add a cube, of course we have to change the material in the water to our new one. And look at that. That's some weird artifacts, but for the boat, it should be fine. So what this means is you're going to need a solid mesh over top of the boat mesh to basically fake its solidity. So here in our boat, let's get the static mesh and uh, just click the browse to once again, right click on the model, asset actions. We have to export this and modify it in Blender. I've already done this, so it would be this one right here. Yes, replace. And then we got to go open that up in Blender. OK, A to select all, delete, file, import. And I think the FBX importer should come with Blender now from Steam. Just install Blender from Steam. You want to import your boat. So basically, I'm just going to go around and select all these inner vertices and delete them and turn this into a solid object. Select four vertices and then press F to make a face. Oh, 
All right, and there we go. We have our solid boat. And let's just export that. And we just want the mesh. Geometry. Do edge so it won't give you an error. Uh, okay. So let's go back to Unreal. Okay, so we have our water. Um, let's import that model we just saved. Just as is. We can delete this material. That's not needed. And let's make sure it's hiding the water. So you see that works. So we just want to open our boat blueprint, add a static mesh, and set that to your model. So there we go, it fills in the boat. So you see the water is not visible in the boat. However, we need to hide this mesh now. And unfortunately, when you set this to not visible, it actually doesn't work. And same thing, same thing if we uh, use hidden in game. So we need another material. I'll just call this M water mask or something like that and we don't even need a color all we need is masked a masked surface uh, we can just use scalar parameter so we'll just make that um, totally invisible and it can be unlit. And then we're just going to set the material to mask. Water material mask. Now it's invisible. Whoops. Make sure you get the right material. and uncheck hidden in game. So it should be visible technically. So visible should be on and hidden in game should be off. And of course you can set collision to nothing. Uh, no collision. Now it's working. Uh, I think I'll do a drivable boat video next. I've already kind of gone through that ahead of time. And the biggest consideration is wave size and the speed of the boat and the size of the boat. If you tip this a certain way, so if, if the waves are just a bit too high, this is what it ends up looking like. So this would be realistically where water would be spilling into your boat. And since there's no way to do that, you just kind of want to avoid that possibility altogether. It probably shouldn't matter, but if you go down low enough, you do get this water post-process effect. But I think in 99% of scenarios, this is going to work perfectly. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you hopefully in that next one.